Peggy 18. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the EGL 15 Open. This is a challenge event presented by PS4. I'm Brycey, and joining me for this one, Chris Tun, reunited since the intro this morning. Yes, that, that, that they were not allowing us to do any more together. <laughs> I think we've been We were trying. too good, too powerful. Too powerful. Apart too from powerful. you, you're a little bit ill. Mate, you heard this. Mate. I went down three octaves. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good at all. It's so, no, uh, it'll be fine. It's I'll not the fine. first time you've been in while we've been casting. There was that infamous, infamous every incident. Every time. Every time. It, honestly, I, I am very rarely sick throughout the year. Like, my, my sickness record at work is next level, right? When it comes to coming <laughs> to do events, though, it's every time. Every time I turn up, it's like, oh, no, smite you down. Well, we've got something in common, haven't we? Because you're ill and I'm sick. <laughs> Christ almighty. Um, I was thinking I that one well, for a good 20 seconds this. before yeah. I said it. Well. And I'm going to regret it for the next year. Yeah. Um, anyway, game coming up. Very, very important. Um, because we do have a little bit of a tie here. If Bulldog can win this one, and I'm not saying they will, but they might, uh, yeah. they will have put one over on Team Infuse. Bearing in mind, Team Infuse right now are looking phenomenal. They yeah. are one of the top teams coming into this. One of the favorites, actually, to not only win this event, but to also win the CWL. So, Would you say so? Yes. I think, I think it's one of those teams you mentioned here. Realistically, a lot, in my opinion, of what I've read from the community, the top three teams are as follows. It's Millennium, Infuse, and Epsilon. Now, whether or not that plays out like that, and bearing in mind Splice and Excel are very, very close to that as well. I don't think it takes a genius to figure out the top three teams, in my opinion. Oh, really? I, I Do you agree top, with that? I think Infuse, Millennium, Epsilon, definitely the top three teams. I think there's a disparity between them and fourth and fifth. I, I just think that they have the edge over the rest of the teams. I'm actually I, going to disagree, I'm, with I'm disagree with you straight away because, if anything, I would say there's a disparity between maybe Splice next time. I think Excel okay, maybe I'd well, knock down. I'd put Splice a quite considerably close to I'd the point where close. I would very easily put them in that top three. I just kind of put that in my opinion of what I've been reading. Of what you've been reading or your opinion? I, it's, it's not only my opinion, it's the general community's feeling. I think it quite easily goes Infused Epsilon Millennium. I think they're the top three bracket. Splice closely behind. I don't know. I don't know. Minute, I know. The more, the more I think off. about it, if I put top four, I put top four all of them in. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, if you would put top four, I would definitely say Splice. But I, wouldn't, four, I, wouldn't, but I wouldn't negate Splice from that top three. Not, in any, not until... Uh, this is a great thing, though, because we're going to see those matchups at this event. Yeah, that's really true. This is when we I finally get onto land and finally find out who's the better squads. I mean, um, speaking of squads, let's actually yeah. go into this game here. Infuse, as you can see the roster on your screen right now. Marky B, PD, Urban, and Zero. Very good players, made a big impact actually coming into Europe, and they have stayed together for almost a year. I think it's nine months. I mean, who's these your, guys have been together. Who's your guy to really watch out for on that team? Because it has to well, be zero. Well, funny enough, for me. I made yeah, I made a video about it, and it's zero. One it is zero, uh, and he was the entire reason I even made a video. So it, it kind of speaks devils here. I mean, funny enough, the reason that I even did that such a thing was because of of when I talked about Peeny back in Black Ops Two. Yeah. Back in Black Ops 2, I said, Petey, you know, he's really raw right now. He needs that kind of temperament. He needs to be kind of molded into a player that doesn't challenge everything like a reckless idiot. Sin, and I so far, he is that player now. I feel as if Trey is come, uh, Zero has come into that, he is and come, he's molded into that very quickly. I don't through, think he's too reckless. He's just a raw talent who's very, very good at the game. He has come through in a way that I can only imagine certain other players have done so. The other players that have made an impact like Zero in my mind, are players like maybe Marky B, not Marky B, sorry, Mad Cat. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was just going to say Mad, Mad Cat. Mad is one of the only players yeah. who's been that influential there in that shorter period. Uh, Jerd's rapid ascension. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the difference with Jerd there is he was around for quite a while before he you had see, that Jared, ascension. You see, Jerd, he was expected to sort of come up that way, wasn't he? Zero just sort of came um, out of nowhere for me. I think yeah. he, he originally came around. He did come out of nowhere. He, he, he yeah. basically got picked up by uh, Swanee and Shay. Yeah, they picked him up for an event. I can't exactly remember what it was. It was an Epsilon. He, they were an Epsilon. Yeah, and it was just like, who's this guy? Yeah, everyone just went, who is Zero? And, and he um, turned up, and he's, uh, it turns out he's really good. <laughs> <laughs> it does turn out he's really good. Um, Bulldog, though, I mean, for it's me, I'm actually, I'm actually a big fan of Pado. 
uh, in the yeah. and I expect yeah. him to do some serious work. However, I have been hearing rumblings, and this is not my, my personal opinion. I'm going to get that out of the way because I haven't watched this team as much as I would like to. Um, but talking to some members, influential members of the community, actually, in the hall at the moment, uh, they're saying they don't feel Bulldog is actually as good as they used to be, or at least towards the start of the game here. So I'm interested to see how that plays out. They did just lose to Enraged as well which has got people like realizing it and realizing it's very, very common. He said to me after the game, he feels we could be doing so much better. People underrate us because of some of the bracket runs we've got. We I were mean, hitting big teams early on. We were even speaking to Swanee when we see when we seen Bulldog lose their last game. And we said, oh, I mean, they lost to Enraged. And Swanee was like, yeah, Enraged is uh, a team to watch out for. So Bulldog... Which is very interesting because if I remember correctly, the way this bracket system works means that Millennium, if they come first, and Enraged, if they come second could they end up playing in the very first game of the bracket? And I say that as production kind of looks over and checks if I'm right. They don't know. They, they, they may don't. bring a graphic So up. until Who otherwise, knows? I am correct. Well, I, I don't know if you are, but, you know, it doesn't happen very often, let's be honest. But <laughs> moving in this, it is going to have a quick look at the maps. It's going to be 